Welcome, my name is Nett Hovey and I'm your host today. Uh, in April last year, we launched Alpha Laval uh, Culture One uh, to the single-use biopharma industry. And now, more than a year later, and multiple trials at multiple customer sites, we want to share the findings and how we are delivering value to the customer. Uh, and with me in studio to share these findings, I have three of my dear colleagues. Uh, it's uh, Doug Osman, who is our Director for Life Sciences here at Alpha Laval, has worked many years for Alpha Laval and has been part of this development from the start. Uh, Michaela Sievert, who is our Global Launch Manager, uh, she will share our white paper findings uh, that we did together with uh, a customer. And thirdly, and not lastly, uh, Peter Tovid, who is a concept development manager uh, in our R&D department and has, of course, been part of this development uh, from the start. So, Doug, we start with you. Uh, in case we have people joining this webinar who have not listened to the previous ones, uh, would you mind uh, making a short recap of what we launched in April last year and what our starting point was? Yes, um, in April of 2020, we launched the Culture One, the first premium single-use separator for the harvesting of biotherapeutics. Um, we saw a need in, uh, in this category as an extension of uh, our existing stainless steel product line in order to deal with um, the evolved materials that our customers have been producing. Um, a lot of upstream advances have resulted in higher uh, drug concentrations, higher cell concentrations, and the existing solutions for, for harvesting this material um, were really being pushed to the limit. So we responded then to a market demand for, for something that would deal with these um, changed and, and evolved materials and also looked into a little further down into the future to make sure that uh, a solution we would generate would be applicable for even the next generation of uh, uh, changes that we see our, our customers pursuing. Um, so that, in, in, in summary, is, is the motivation behind producing the, uh, the, the Culture One, uh, both from being able to fit in a single-use environment, but also to deal with the, uh, the changes uh, to the materials from the upstream processes. So in developing an improved solution against those process challenges, what are the most important criteria? Well, first and foremost for our customers, it's uh, product yield. Um, any recovery method must deliver uh, a high product yield in this first step because losses in this first step have a multiplicative effect in terms of the overall yield uh, from you know, the efforts that our customers make to uh, produce uh, the, these processes or these, these materials, I should say. And then um, we're looking at uh, how the, the quality of the materials that we produce from this first step uh, affects the, the downstream operations, uh, uh, various filter and purification uh, operations downstream. So we wanted something that delivered a high quality uh, material uh, after the separation result. And then, um, you know, finally, we were looking at something with uh, that would treat the material quite gently so that uh, we would not introduce additional impurities that would have to be dealt with downstream as well. So these three criteria, yield, uh, downstream filterability, and low additional lysis, were the primary considerations in terms of delivering a good result out of this particular process step. Any uh, additional consideration we brought into the development? Well, uh, we wanted something that would operate on, on a continuous basis um, so that we, would, we, we could reach a steady state and, and have something run in a predictable and reliable way. Uh, we also wanted something that would uh, make, uh, I should say, deliver this process result without any additional additives because additives, you know, they complicate operations and they add expense and they add time and they add risk. So we wanted something that would operate without uh, the need for any chemical addition. Um, and we also wanted something that would be quite simple uh, to, to operate as well because a, a lot of these um, operations involve um, portable equipment and having something that would operate, you know, quite easily and simply in, in that type of environment uh, is, uh, is very important to make sure that um, the results that, uh, that are achieved are repeatable uh, uh, every time. Um, so those are some of the additional considerations that we looked at in terms of having something that would function well in this type of an environment. 
So after a year working closely with the customers, what are the feedback that you hear, Doug? Some of the things that we're hearing back are exactly you know, what we had hoped to hear, that we do have something that um, uh, delivers a, a, a fantastic process result um, that is simple and intuitive to work with, uh, that pr produces repeatable and, and reliable results, and really delivers on um, the, the, the things which, uh, which uh, customers value in this particular process step. So um, we've heard other comments such as it treats the material quite uh, gently. Um, it's, it's a very quiet uh, uh, system, uh, doesn't generate a lot of, uh, of noise and, and is easy to work you know, right next to. Um, it's uh, portable and uh, straightforward to work with and really kind of intuitive um, and provides fantastic feedback in terms of what exactly is, uh, is going on while you're making a process run. So we've had a lot of uh, good comments back and it's really um, been, been great to hear that because it has validated um, that we have uh, delivered against the original design criteria. Thank you, Doug. So what I hear you say is that uh, we took departure in the problems that our customers are facing when we created the solution. And uh, the feedback that we get is very, very positive. Um, that's good to hear. Thank you. We also have documented results uh, of the performance uh, that we can deliver. Uh, we published a white paper uh, late last year together with the customer, uh, Michaela, uh, welcome. Uh, would you mind uh, telling us a little bit about this initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, during the development of Culture One, we had a very strong partner in Genentech, one of the leading biopharmaceutical companies based in uh, California, US. Uh, and together we run numbers of tests, a uh, uh, lot of trials. Uh, we did that on both commercial cell culture material and also their products under development and under real world conditions. And during the tests, we looked closely at process key factors like yield, like filterability, additional lysis, and the results turned out to be, to be very good. Uh, and together with Genentech, we uh, published these results. We made a white paper, and that was recently published by Bioprocess uh, International. You wanted to highlight three things from uh, the white paper. Uh, you talk about uh, product yield, uh, low additional lysis, filterability, uh, which is also what Doug mentioned earlier and said is important to the customer. Uh, if we take it one by one and start with product yield, what does this mean and uh, what results did we see? The product yield uh, is uh, the percentage of valuable protein, so this is a real key factor. Uh, and for all the tests that we did, under all conditions, we, uh, we were above our target of 90% uh, product yield. Uh, and we have also run further tests uh, and reached up to 98%. Uh, so that result is very good. The secret behind uh, the reason for this is basically the centrifugal technology is a very efficient uh, separation technology. Uh, and with the right rotation of speed plus the high separation area with the latest disk stack design, uh, there is the reason behind this result. Um, secondly, we wanted to highlight low additional lysis. Uh, could you tell a little bit about what that means uh, and also the results that we saw? Mm -hmm. Additional lysis um, is the amount of cells that get damaged through a process step. Uh, and in our case with Culture One, we saw that lysis cells were typically very low, um, well below the, the target. Even at higher flow rates, we saw that uh, uh, the additional lysis level were as low as 5%. And um, these results, uh, again, is typically connected to the optimal rotation speed uh, and also the minimized shear on the fluid, which you get with the top stream design. And finally, we wanted to highlight filterability. Uh, again, can you tell what it means and also uh, what results uh, that we have documented? Filterability or filtration throughput is the filtering characteristic of the fluid after centrifugation. And this is essential for the downstream processing, what happens after the separation step. And that includes sterile filtration. So our tests show that we can achieve as high as 900 liters per square meters in filterability. Uh, and those results were actually comparable or better 
than what we see for any baseline process. And the key, again, is a, a very efficient uh, centrifugal separation or removal of cells and debris, which is connected to the hermetic design and the top stream. What you mention now uh, is the results uh, published in the white paper uh, that we did together with Genentech. Uh, would you say that these results are standalone or have we been able to repeat them? Well, we have had uh, continuous uh, proof uh, of concept for Culture One. We have continued to document these level of performance and we have repeated them with more than a dozen of customers by now. Uh, so in my mind, the R&D team, together with Genentech uh, during this uh, concept development, has taken us a great step further. Uh, and now Culture One is a unique fine-tuned design contest, concept uh, based on a lot of test results, um, uh, proving that hermetic design, top stream and Unidisc uh, can really contribute to a consistent and efficient cell harvesting process. So thank you, Michaela. And uh, the white paper shows we have very high product yield. Uh, I heard you mention as high as 98%, uh, which is really, really good. Uh, and also that the customer product has very high uh, quality after the separation. Uh, and for me, as a non-biopharma expert, uh, uh, it sounds that the customers uh, get high quality product and more of it uh, in, uh, in this uh, separation process. Uh, and that's good. Thank you. Welcome, Peter. Uh, you are our concept development manager at our R&D department, and you have been part of this development uh, from the start. Can you share a little bit about the approach that we have had to product development uh, in this process? Well, it's been a, an agile approach together with the customer. We have already from the first uh, meeting and the first field test, we modified our test centrifuge explorer, we made it into a, a somewhat of a single use device. We went to the customer and, and we tried the, some of the new features blending with some of the knowledge that we have since the past. And since the cells that we are separating is not readily available, there is no test media. We had to understand how it actually worked in real life and early prototyping and step by step working with the customer towards the final product was the was the approach and and uh, something we succeeded with so peter uh, why could we do this well it's because we didn't everything new we didn't do everything new we, it just looks different but it's still the same separator principles that alpha laval has used for for centuries hermetic technology together with uh, better disk performance with the Unidisc and also a new development uh, called TopStream where we treat the cells heavy phase in a, in a different way. That's development we started a few years back and now when this possibility came up and this need from the customer, we blended the technologies together and could approach this uh, development uh, task in quite a speedy way and, and, and to the point. So it's blending new with, with old in, in a new package. So what would you say is the next step now? Well, it's to continue on the path that we have set out, continue to work with the customers, understanding what's around the corner, what the future needs are, as, and at the same time showing them what is possible to do. Now when we have a collaboration, we know that prototyping works in their industry, we can then show new values and other ways of, of using our technology to solve their, their future problems. So in the collaboration with the customer, a lot of exciting things can happen when we work together and, and we're really are looking forward to the future. We're, we're here to stay. Thank you, Peter. Uh, so in summary, we have taken departure in separation technology that we know well and we have blended in uh, unique Alpha Laval technologies that we know deliver results and we have created something completely new. Uh, this is great. Doug, I have one final question for you. Can a customer now use this product in their GMP production environment? 
Yes, one of the most important criteria for customers is to have process contact services, which uh, can be validated against the appropriate, you know, regulatory authorities in in uh, uh, different um, markets around the world. Um, and we've done all this work, all the laboratory studies, um, all of the uh, sterility uh, studies uh, against it, and uh, we're happy to say that uh, the culture one is 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 very well suited for operation in the GMP production environment. So thank you, Doug, Michaela and Peter for joining us today. And thank you for listening in uh, to this webinar. And if you would like to know more uh, about our product and what we can do for you, uh, please reach out to your local uh, Alpha Laval office in the country where you are. Uh, or you can check this page out and fill in the form and we will guide you to the right person. So thank you again and stay safe and healthy.